Yo, my name is Benjamin, and this is OpenType Support in Framer, giving you much more control over your fonts. In this demo project, I'll walk you through a few fun examples, and we'll have a look at the new UI. To start, I'll select my text layer, and under the text section in the property panel, you'll now find an open type property. Here, you'll find all open type features that your selected font supports. I'm using inter display. To better understand what these properties do, you can hover over the label to get a preview. You can also hover the segment control to compare the on and off states. And when enabling this stylistic set, you'll notice the three update on the canvas as well. And because there can be many open type features, we also integrated search. For example, I can search for yes to find all enabled properties like kerning, contextual alternates and the stylistic set we enabled. And we can also scroll this panel to explore all open type features available for this font, which are divided in different categories like stylistic sets, character variants, ligatures, numbers, letter case, contextual alternates, and more. Here you can see the multiplication symbol will revert to an X if we disable the contextual alternates. And the same is true for arrow symbols that you can draw just by combining dashes with carrots on your keyboard, which should work for any font supporting this open type feature. Speaking of fonts, in this release, we also updated our default typeface, Inter, to version 4.0, making sure it supports all open type features out of the box. Plus, we've added Inter Display as well, replacing the Google font version, ensuring you get all open type features here as well. Next, let's have a look at a few more useful open type features, like fractions. I'll select my text layer and then I'll find the numbers category. And here I can enable the fractions property, giving us the proper fractional notation. Another very useful feature is tabular numbers. Enabling this gives all numbers an equal width, making sure that when these numbers change or when you animate these numbers, there will be no jumps in your layout. Some typefaces like inter even support circled and squared variations of their characters, which can be enabled through a stylistic set. Here it is stylistic set five. And then for the squared variation, it's stylistic set six. Other common open type features for numbers include superscript and subscript. Superscript allows you to render characters above the line. Here you'll notice it can also include letters, but luckily we can also select a portion of our text layer to then exclusively apply specific open type features to that selection. Similarly, Subscript allows us to render characters below the line. And here we can use search again for easy access. And there we go. Next, you can use letter and number variants to drastically change the look and feel of any given font. And they can also help fix legibility issues. Inter, for example, comes with many different characters, like this alternative capital G. or this much sharper number three. And many fonts will also include a single story A next to the default double story A. Finally, it can be tricky to differentiate the capital I from the lowercase L. This is where using an alternative character for either of these can help improve legibility. As mentioned before, the OpenType properties available differ per font, 
While these features will not yet be available for Google fonts, they will work on any FontShare font and any custom one that you upload it. We're incredibly excited to improve typography in Framer through these new OpenType features, giving you much more control over your fonts and allowing you to add a personal touch to your sites. We hope you enjoy this update. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay tuned for more updates coming soon.